Royal Jewelers in Andover, Massachusetts has been sharing happiness since 1948. And it's hand etched. Uh, they use the tool called the Bovino etching. It's all done by hand. Cam, how are you? Great to see you. It has been a while. The occasion is Claude Julien passing legendary Bruins coach Art Ross on the franchise's all-time wins list and picking out a watch to commemorate the achievement. So I had a few in mind. Cam, what I'm thinking is we really want to tie in the black and gold. These are watches from Ulysse Narden, famous watchmaker since 1846. Maybe this made sense because we have um, the black and the gold. It's very sporty, but then I thought a combination of maybe something sporty and um, with, a little yeah. bit, with a little bit more subtle might make sense. And so I think this would be great. Oh, well, this is a great watch. Exactly. So you have the black and the gold. Wow. It's 18 karat yellow gold with a rubber strap. It is rubber clad, has the gold bezel, chronograph, so very sporty. That looks great on you. Maybe I should get it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's not great? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So if, if I wanted to get something engraved on it, where could we put that? Right, so we could do it somewhere on here, or we could do it on one of these gold bars that's in here. And there's enough room for us to get on whatever you need, or we can do it on two panels. Yeah, this is nice, but this, this one certainly, I think. Sure. Yeah, this one would, would work better. Early on a Manhattan Sunday morning, in the shadow of the Freedom Tower, a large group of firefighters, including a team from Wilmington and Beverly, Massachusetts, have gathered. Hundreds of firefighters from across the globe are doing a stair climb in memory of their brothers who were lost on 9-11. Among those here supporting them is Bruins coach John Whitesides. During the lockout in 04, I got a chance to work with the Wilmington Fire Department, you know, and they actually brought me in and I felt like I was a part of their team. And I got to know these guys and I've kept friendships with them ever since. You know, we're at the Memorial Pool here, you know, recognizing the World Trade Center that fell in this exact location and it's pretty emotional. You see some of the names out there and, and, you, know, and you see all these faces and everybody taking in the, you know, the weight of the moment. You know, it's really impressive. These guys are gonna carry, you know, about 50 pounds of gear up 72 floors today. You know, and the gear's not only heavy, it's hot. You know, and them going up there and carrying this, I'd like to see a few of our guys try to do it. I think it'd be a really difficult task. I'll see you up there. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy it. Thank Enjoy you. It. I will. Train I will. for it, right? Oh yeah. Go. Along with all the gear and a photo of a fallen fireman, Wilmington Fire Captain Chuck Taylor is also carrying an Ace Bailey jersey, in tribute to the man the Bruins family lost that day. Back home, the Atlantic Division leading Boston Bruins are loading up for a three-game California road swing. And while this is a plane full of professional hockey players, today's flight is all about bragging rights in college basketball. I think Kansas should beat the uh, 16th seed. They should. Got some solid picks there, uh, Landon. <laughs> No, not at all. Upsets are my favorite, so I pick a lot of upsets too. 16 seeds to the finals. 16 seeds all the way. <laughs> I'm doing two of them, so I'm trying to keep my picks like kind of the same, but I'm trying to switch them up a little bit too. Why are you in too? Got a better chance to win. It's pretty obvious. Everybody knows it doesn't get any more competitive than the March Madness office pool. So we'll keep you posted on how it all plays out. The 
Boston Bruins are on the ground in San Jose, California, the first stop of their three-game Western road trip. And, as usual, everyone is pitching in to get the gear unloaded. And I do mean everyone. The unloading and unpacking are routine, but one thing that's different today is a scheduled late afternoon practice, which, when you factor in the three hour time difference, is more like an evening skate for the bees. All done. Thanks, sir. But regardless of the time, it's all in a day's work for the boys from Boston and longtime assistant coach Doug Huda. Come on, Gus. Five hole. Hey. Uh oh. Got a shot of my five hole. <laughs> and I came out of the And you woke up and you woke up and it was a nightmare. <laughs> hey, as soon as they counter, next group's ready to go. Ready? Ready? Let's go, John. Go sides. Bump it to the center. Get back down there. Who's the middle? Get down there, Louis. Down, Louis, down, down, down. There we go. Randy f off, that was supposed to go in. Ah, f uh, I quit. Game 71 of the regular season pits the Bees against the always tough San Jose Sharks. And it looks like Lee Stempniak and his teammates are ready to go. Good, two. Go, Marshan. Go. Go, Bergen. Burns trying to move it. Krejci intercepts. Here's Erickson trying to get a step short-handed. Burns chasing him. A rip shot and he scores! This one is short-handed and it's 2-1 Bruins. Things start off promisingly enough for the black and gold, but Luis Shorty turns out to be the end of the Bruins' offense tonight. The next day finds the Bruins Roadshow in sunny Southern California. And with two days till the next game, there's time for some of the team's younger players to regroup and explore SoCal. Oh, Joe. Look at you. And if you are in the Santa Monica sunshine, you better make sure you have the appropriate attire. I can see you being a really good surfer. Yeah, look, look at his shirt. <laughs> All right, so we just got done breakfast. Uh, unfortunately, you guys weren't allowed to tag along. Um, apparently, that's too high of celebrity talent that goes in there. No, we did not see one celebrity. But we did have one sitting with us at our table. Uh, Frank Vitrano got uh, confused with Diego the Nightmare Sanchez, the UFC fighter. The couple of the waiters were really excited until they found out that not only is he not a fighter, but the big scratch on his face was more of a household accident than anything else. So, I mean, the nightmare kind of looks like you. Got the same nose. Yeah, bad. Both looks like they got little smashed crooked, in a little bit. Swollen lip, cut. Well, that's yeah. not, you know, he's, that's, got, that's, he's got a tat peeking in here. You got your tats. That's pre-fight, though. 28. I'm, I'm all 28 in all. All. I'm all in all, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm all in all. <laughs> what are the UV indexes right now? The UV <laughs> Yeah, it's great to have an off day here in Cali. Obviously, the, the weather is a lot different in other places. We play uh, during the season, and uh, we're fortunate enough to have a great day here, and uh, excited to, to walk around and enjoy the weather and uh, enjoy the day off. I don't know how it? to do it, but I don't know if I could do it. Can we see you do it? I'll try it if one of you guys try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. All right. All right. <laughs> Killing it right now. I like how he had to one up everyone and go over there and back. Go 
for another lap, but... Go with your feet. Stick your feet in the ring. It's <laughs> actually kind of fun. Thousands of swings. <laughs> Thousands. Randy, this guy has your beat. Yeah, holy. Suck your Randy. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh.